Podcast 2 p.m. on the 11 back with another video. Sorry I look like crap, I just took a shower so my hair is like all wet. But I'm just going to show you my recent pickups and what I picked up at this flea market that was in Pulaski, Virginia, or technically Dublin, Virginia, this past weekend. And normally it happens two times a year. It's really big and either you find a lot of stuff there or you go there and it's just a bunch of like overpriced stuff. So I'm going to show you what I did find, which wasn't much, but I'm going to show you everything, including other stuff than video games. So the first thing I got were these Crocs for $5, and they feel like, they feel just like the other name brand Crocs. Like, they don't feel like the cheap plastic ones, so they, uh, I just think they're cool, so I picked them up. I picked, <laughs> this one's funny, this is a cheap Chinese piece of crap. I picked up this palm support thing because I've been bowling recently and I've been bowling a lot so my hands have been bugging me so I figured I'd wear something like this when I was bowling so it wouldn't like affect my hand so much. It came with two of them. Uh, this is what it looks like. Not that anybody cares but it looks like that. And on the back of this box it, it's just funny. It says protect the palm and wrist adapt to ice skating. How is this going to help you adapt to ice skating? Uh, skating, dumbbell, and barbell, etc. And then it says, used as gloves against cold and keep warm. Who is going to use this as gloves? And it says, adapt to students studying, which I don't understand why it says that. People handcrafting and computer working. Not computer, but computer. They spelled it C-O-M-P-R-T-E-R. -E and, and I just, look at that. You guys have to see that. I just think it's funny. So, yeah. And look at his name. Like, that address at the bottom is, like, gigantic. So, but it, it has been helping with bowling. And it, I have one in my bowling bag, so I just use that one. But, there's that. I also picked up this dress. It was $8. I don't know if cares, but oh, it's just looks like that. It's a long dress. So, yep, yeah, this is the front. <laughs> that is not the front. So I picked that up. And then, this is not just the flea market. It's also game, uh, a system that I found at Google. So I'm going to do that last. Then I picked up a shirt. I got it at the flea market. I think it was like 22. It's one of those airbrushed ones. So it has my name on the front and then uh, basketball in the back. So I thought that was cool. So I picked that up. You guys know I'm a big basketball person. And then to the games. I. Okay. You guys saw in one video. How I did not want to go back to this one store because they were like really rude. Well, they were at this flea market and it was actually having really good deals, which uh, he sometimes has, but recently he's been pricing his things way too high, so I just stopped going there. But he was at the flea market and I stopped by and I got some good deals. So I picked up Monopoly for NES, so it's got a really good label for $2. Robocop for NES for $2. Uh, and the other thing that I picked up from him, which, no, I'll pick this one up too. I got Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, which I already have, but I'm just going to get a trader, so this one off for $2. And then I also picked up Skylanders Spyro's Adventure for the Wii, which I wanted it for the PS3, but it was $5, so I'll just, I picked it up and it's complete. This can be better, it's scratched up, but it should play fine. I can't test it until I get a portal, so... And I've ordered some figurines as well. So that's everything I got from him. And then at another booth for five dollars, I probably overpaid for it, but I've been wanting this for Dreamcast. Ready to Rumble Boxing. It's the only Dreamcast game they have. So I have it for PS1, but I don't have it for Dreamcast, and that's what I wanted it for. So I can't get this thing open. It's complete. I need to be cleaned up a little bit, especially now that I just dropped on the floor, but it is complete. And then I found Toy Story 3 for PSP, 
brand new sealed for five dollars and I just need to add to my PHP collection so I figured I'd pick that up. That is everything that I got from the flea market. Put this disc up before I make it worse. Now at Target I know my friend is pissed off at something. I don't know. Um, I got this EA Sports Active 2 Personal Trainer for $5.98 new at Target. And it comes with obviously everything in it because it was new. And I need it like an exercise one because I need to exercise. So I picked this up because I thought it was a good deal. And I've actually heard good things about this. So this one's for the Wii. Now at Goodwill, this is. Everything that came with the system, it was 30 bucks total. First, I'm going to throw you guys off, but it came with a GameCube power cord, which is going to be sold on eBay most likely, because I don't have any GameCubes to sell off. But the system that I got was a Nintendo 64. So... The person that put that cord in there, I guess, just thought it went with it, but it is in really nice condition. This reset button was stuck down and, like, wouldn't work, but I opened it and I cleaned it out, and it works fine now, so that's awesome. There's the bottom. I mean, it's in really good shape. I'm thinking about, because I have a black one, but I was thinking about taking this one, taking my old black one, and selling it, but I don't know. I just have this thing for if I bought the console myself a long time ago that I should just keep that one, even if the other one's in better shape, or like, just because that was the one I originally bought. But, so this one's going to be sold, but it's just the regular black pack thing, it's not the expansion pack, unfortunately. But, again with that, two gray controllers, uh, the joysticks are, this one's not that bad, this one's like really loose. It came with the power supply for the M64, which I just stuck in a bag. And it did not come with the AV cables, which is actually what ended up me getting it. Sorry, I'm so, like, ready to go to sleep. But what happened was this guy saw it before me, and I'm over there walking towards, like, the game section, which they always have in this case thing. So I was walking towards the case. The guy in front of me had this woman over there opening up the case. And he's like, I want to see Cassie at Nintendo 64 down there. And he was going to buy it, then he asked her, well, does it come with the AV cable so I can hook it up to my TV? And they were looking for them, and it weren't there. It wasn't there, thank God, because if it was there, he would have bought it. And <laughs> Basically, right after he left, I went right up there and told her, I would like to take the Nintendo 64, and she told me there was no AV cables. I'm like, I, I don't care, I wouldn't anyway. So, technically, that saved me. If there was AV cables, I would have never gotten this. So, these are the games that it came with. Not the best in the world, but it came with, I don't know if they come with it. I don't know how you say this, but Wyo Law Country Club, True Golf Classics. I debated whether or not to sell this one off as a system or keep it, but I'm going to put it in my collection because I don't have a golf game and I'll never pay for a golf game, so I might as well just keep that one. Triple Play 2000, I'm keeping that one because I like baseball games. Asteroid 64, or Asteroids Hyper 64, keeping that one. Air Fighters Assault, I've had this game before and I didn't like it, so this one's going to be sold off. Knockout Kings 2000, already have it. Play Brace, already have it. Kobe Bryant and NBA Courtside, already have it. And Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000, which I did have, but I traded it off a long time ago, and I had it for the Dreamcast, so I don't need it. So that was going a lot, and probably the best one in there was Star Fox 64. So that's what it came with, and it was all $30, so I thought it was a good deal. I hooked it up, played it, tested it, and everything. Everything works um, so far, except for I can't get Star Fox 64 to work, which is pissing me off. But it doesn't look like there's any reason why it shouldn't be playing, so... I think I just need to go back and clean it again and try it a second time. But So I thought that was a decent deal. Don't know what you guys think, but uh, I just realized my dog's asleep on the bed in the background. But yeah, so I'm going to resell that because I already have a black one downstairs, and the one that I play on is the aqua blue one. So 
I don't need it, but I figured it was a good deal, and I'm just on this, like, eBay kick recently, and I need to make money back from the money that I've been spending, and Nintendo 64 is on eBay sell pretty quickly, really fast, so, um, yeah, so, that's about it. If I can get Star Fox 64 to work, I'm going to be selling that so early because I already have that game as well. Uh, I might switch them because that one's probably a better label. Not sure. I'll have to check. But, yeah, so that's all of my pickups. If anybody, because I know absolutely nothing about Skylanders, if anybody would like to tell me whether or not I should purchase Skylanders Swap Force for the Wii U, I found it on eBay. It's the game in the portal for $15. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. It's $15 free shipping. But I need the portal, and I don't know whether or not I should just purchase the portal separately, which is like $6 on eBay, or whether or not I should purchase that in the game, which is $15. So let me know. Um, also, is the Giants portal the same as the original game, like this one's portal, or are they different? Because I don't know that either. So let me know that as well if you're a Skylander person. I'm just starting into this. Hopefully, I like this better than Disney Infinity because, honestly, I don't know. So far, Disney Infinity has just been sitting on my shelf and I haven't been playing it too much. But I was really big into Spyro when I was a kid. So I have a feeling I want to like this a lot better. So, um, yeah, I don't know about... Disney Infinity is fun to play. It's just... I don't know why. I'm the type, like, I like to play games that are less on the creative side, more like of the already there, you just fight things off and, you know, gain strength and power and stuff like that, like this one is. Disney Infinity is more of a create your own environment, do your own thing type of thing, and I'm just too lazy to do that half the time. So, uh, it's a good game, but I don't play it very often, so hopefully this one I will like better. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and Sorry, it's been 12 minutes. I didn't realize that, but thanks for watching and have a good day. And let me know about what you picked up recently as well.